Hi, I'm Stuart from the Norfolk Honey Company and welcome back to another of our queen rearing videos for 2017. Today we've returned to our queen mating apiary to take another look at the Nico method of queen rearing. In the last video we produced uh, several cells to put into our cell builder colony. So we've got 10 cups that we put in using the Nico method and today we're going to cross our fingers and take a look to see how those have developed. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos in this series then take a look at the playlist and if you've not yet subscribed then why not hit the subscribe button down in the bottom corner there and if you see a little bell symbol if you click on that that will alert you to any of our further uploads that we've got. So we're going to get the smoker lit and head into the apiary and see how these queen cells have developed. Okay so this is our cell builder colony so this was made queenless uh, a while back. Looks like we've got some ants in residence as well. Uh, so we'll just take off our makeshift crime board. And all we're looking for is this frame in the middle, which is our Nico queen cell frame and we're just doing a check to see that we've got some queen cells that have been formed lots of bees and yeah it looks like we've got several queen cells let me just pop this down and I'll get something to just brush the bees off we don't want to shake the bees off this frame so I'll just grab a twig and so all I use is just a couple of twigs from a um, tree bush that's got relatively soft leaves you don't want to be using anything that's got sharp leaves so here's our here are frames and it's looking like we've got one, two, three, four, five, maybe six. This one in the middle here is not a queen cell. It looks as if one of the cell cups has dropped out of this particular holder so I didn't push it in far enough it seems and this one hasn't taken nor this one but for a first attempt that's uh, that's not bad in terms of timing today is Monday and the cell cups were placed into this frame with eggs in uh, a week ago on Saturday so that's seven eight nine so this is day 10 so we would expect to see them at the near capped stage if not capped and so we have got some here if I just tilt it gently you can see that we've got two cells that are capped this one here and this one here and we've got two that are still to be capped and this one in the middle here has just got brace comb being drawn on it. Okay, so we've probably got four or five, maybe six queen cells here, uh, some further advanced than the others. So the capped ones we could remove and put into a, a queenless nuke or a queen mating nuke, or we could pop one of the uh, cages in place so that if they were to emerge then they're not going to tear down the other queen cells. So what we'll do is pop these back into the hive at the moment because we've got a few more days yet before we need to take them out. And then we can get them into, I think we'll probably use some uh, mating nukes uh, that we've got set up ready for the job. So thinking about it, I think the point at which we transferred the cell cups across into the cell cup holders wasn't until 
last Monday, and I'll have to check my records to be certain. So that would mean that the um, cells would be just capped or capped over the next day or two, depending on the age of the eggs and larvae that you then introduce into that frame. So it's important that you keep track of the dates and times because what you don't want to have happen is for one of those queens to emerge earlier than you anticipate and then go across and destroy all of the other queen cells that you've got. So it looks as if we've got maybe five, possibly six queen cells in that first batch. Uh, lots of comments coming through in the first video, so I'm very grateful to those, uh, suggesting that we use uh, larvae rather than eggs, and that's something that we can try. I'm also going to make up uh, an additional cell bar, maybe two, so that we can get maybe 20 cell cups in the next session of queen rearing, which will be in the next few days because time's pressing on and we really want to get those queens out and mated before the summer runs away from us. I hope you found that interesting. Uh, please do hit the subscribe button and don't forget to leave some comments if you've got any comments or questions that you might have and you can drop those in the section below. I'll put links to all of the equipment. The Nico system was supplied to me by B Equipment who are an online UK retailer and I'll put links to the Nico system in the description below so that you can link across and take a look at that as well. Finally, don't forget to take a look at our Patreon page where you can support us in producing more of these videos and also have access to not only the patron-only videos but also to all of the other guys that are there supporting us and chatting with us about their beekeeping. So we're going to get back into the apiary and take a look at some of the other hives but we'll catch up next week. Thanks for watching.